That is a demon battle totem, a foul thing, which summons a multitude of creatures. Raji must beware.
not be separated. He stays with me. We will face together whatever is to come. You spoke of Lord Shiva acting. This is his shrine. It is no coincidence that Raji finds herself here. Time.
Lord Shiva, Mahadev, was it you who summoned me to this place? How may I stop this war and save my brother? Mahadev, I will find my way. Creature. He will use Goli to defeat Raji, to use her love against her. She must be dead.
the shadow of the sun will decide the fate of many a man. Baba, what do our ancestors' words mean? Ah, this is the marriage of Shiva to Sati, which angered Sati's father Daksha greatly. Daksha snubbed the girl and insulted Shiva in public. Sati was unable to bear it and threw herself into the sacrificial fire. Shiva fell into a great rage and pulled a lock of hair from his brow, lashing the ground with it. And there sprang up Virabhadra, fierce warrior of Shiva, who destroyed Daksha and extinguished his fire. Even, even I could not stop him. The birth of Ashwatthama, gifted to his father Drona after many, many years of penance, born with a magical gem in his forehead that made him a mighty warrior. After Drona was killed through trickery, Ashwatthama issued a challenge to Arjuna. Both warriors used mantras to create mighty world-destroying weapons. Arjuna was wise and withheld his weapon, but, but Ashwatthama did not. Instead, directing it at Uttara, Arjuna's daughter-in-law, utterly destroying the lineage of the Pandavas. For that action, Krishna cursed Ashwatthama and cut the gem from his forehead. For thousands of years, he roamed the forests of the world with blood and pus oozing from his injury. It there was a time when I was to take from upon the earth as Rama. Lord Shiva was greatly pleased and wished to travel with my avatar in my journey to aid me. But Parvati begged him to stay with her. There was a devoted king, Kesari, of the monkey people. Who the mystic homes, they burn. Golu. You are surely too clever to have been hurt. You must be safe. I pray that you're safe.
for her to see, I think. War is not not pretty. It is destruction and death and bone and blood. It will not be pleasant, yet she must learn the extent of her enemy's malice. sooner. I could have saved them. What monstrous person did this? to happen. Who made this slaughter? Show yourself, coward. I will not let you kill any more of the innocent. What Mahabharasura is capable of? I am sorry, Raji. Her quest is no longer just for her brother, but for all who suffer this evil.
The entire village of the mystics was under threat. This conqueror would stop at nothing. Would destroy centuries of history and learning. The mystic chieftain was forced to give up the scroll he had kept secret for so long. The mystics will not survive Mahabalasura's attack for long. She must be swift. He is a Junk. Maybe it can calm this garden.
Chieftain's life was in peril. Then Raji stepped forward and finally faced her fall. She struck the invader. But his answering blow wounded her and threw her to the ground. Her foe was shocked. Raji had hurt him. That should have been impossible. Golu saw his chance and he ran to his sister as their enemy disappeared. Raji was near death. But here she was among the mystics, most knowledgeable practitioners of magic. If they could not save her, then no one could. Finally, she was with Golu, but this could not last. be wielded by a god, not a street performer. Who is she? A performer? A nothing. Who lost her brother? She will fail and the world will fall. It should not be on her shoulders. She will fail. She lost Golu once. How can she hope to protect him now? You lost me before, Didi. I don't know if you can save no time. Please don't lose me again. Please.